Dan Schmidt here, CTO and co-founder of Best365 Labs. Here to talk a little bit about all the questions we get every single day in regards to our liquid brain fog formula. One of the questions we get, really the top four, is why the difference in colorization? Two, what's the best way to take it? Three, the whole thing about on the internet, blue urine, the whole dynamic with that. We'll talk about that as well. And then four, we get many questions, especially in regards to our ModsMax liquid delivery technology. So stay tuned, we're gonna go through those, we're gonna answer those questions, and you're gonna learn a lot of new things that are super important when it comes to methylene blue. Let's tackle that first question on color variation. This can confuse and a lot of people and is confusing a lot of individuals. When you first get a bottle of methylene blue and you open it up, you will see that it could actually be a little lighter in color, as you can see here. Uh, when put in water, it can then start to turn bluer and bluer as you have it in the water or as it sits in the water. Or you might have a bottle that's been out a little bit more, you've opened up a few times, you're gonna see it's a much darker blue. There's a real reason for this. When it comes to methylene blue, it's what we call redox agent or dye. It's not just static. It's designed to change colors. It's actively changing with the electrons and oxygen. So when it oxidizes and has plenty of oxygen, it's a blue, it's a deep blue. When it reduces in donating electrons, it turns clear or what we call glucose methylene blue. Both in either stage is definitely normal. However, that confused people are like, what's a dye? A lot of companies that are out there, I hate to say it, are using a chemical dye, which is just a, a methylene, it's just a blue, just a blue dye. If your methylene blue isn't changing colors, it's not pharmaceutical grade methylene blue. It needs to be able to change colors. It's donating and take away electrons. Super important in everything you hear about methylene blue, that's what it's talking about, helping the body energize. We'll talk more about that later. How do you know you're really getting that real methylene blue? Look for the colorization difference. Fake stuff, cheap industrial dye will just stay blue all the time. It won't change. All right, let's talk about the easiest way to take our liquid brain fog. Um, you may have heard online that you want to take, uh, you know, methylene blue is unstable in water. Uh, so just take it with a little bit of water. Don't dilute it very much. That's not the way our Best365 Labs uh, liquid brain fog works. With our Mods Max delivery system, it is as bioabsorbable and stable if it's actually in eight ounces of water, one ounce of water, whatever's easiest for you to be able to take. That's the beauty of our Mods Max delivery. It opens up that submucosal membrane so your body can absorb it. Um, it breaks down biofilm, uh, which is actually one of the barriers that the cells aren't able to absorb very well. So let's just take a little bit and I'm just gonna take some. We had the two open bottles. We're just gonna put some into there. You can see not super blue, but it is blue. The longer it sits in there, it's gonna turn more blue. We'll take a new one as well. We'll put some in there. You'll see that. Interestingly enough, as that sits, you're gonna start looking at it getting bluer and bluer as it gets more oxygen. Now for fun, I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm just gonna go over the tap. I'm gonna actually put more water in here and you'll see what happens here. Just a moment as we do this. And it is now a much darker blue. Why on that tap water? Because guess what was in there? We had more oxygen flowing into that. So look how blue we got. Same difference. I can take the same one, I can drink this here right now. Do not spill on yourself. If it's like this, it will stain you. And there, I can drink it through a straw. I don't have very anything as far as a blue tongue. You don't have to have a blue tongue to take methane blue. Even if I'm in, look how dark that is. See how that did? That tells you that in its redox or in its whatever stage it's in, are glucose methane blue more light or more dark? Both. With the straw, not as big of a blue tongue, but you will turn blue. So if you're taking this and don't get into the blue, but a straw is a good way to actually limit that as blue as your tongue is gonna to be. Again, for fun, I'm just gonna do this, just so everyone knows. I'm gonna oxygenate it with some more water and look what happens. Here we go, a nice blue, and that'll just turn bluer and bluer as we go. Again, don't get it on the area, it will stain. So the easiest way to take it, with the straw, it's almost easier when it's in a more of a glucose state. Don't be fooled. It is methylene blue and it's full pharmaceutical grade in either color. Thank you. 
All right, let's tackle our third question, blue urine. When methylene blue exits the body, you're gonna notice that your urine may be blue. There's a myth out there, important for you to know, that they say that if you don't urinate blue for 24 hours every time you urinate, you don't have real pharmaceutical methylene blue. That is false, completely false. As we talked about just on this previous one, when methylene blue actually in its redox form can actually change different colors. So what happens is when you take methylene blue into your body, it can either donate electron or take away electron. That's the magic of methylene blue. It's the only substance that does that. So on your ET, which is your ETC, which is your electrotransport chain, which is actually feeding your mitochondria for energy, when it needs that jump start, it can donate or take away those electrons. So when it exits the body, whether it's in whichever state it may be, from its donating, from its redox, or if it's actually taking away an electron, it can change colors. So you might notice, oh my gosh, I went to the bathroom, and guess what, I urinated blue. Uh, next time you go, oh my gosh, it's clear. Or you go again, it, it can alternate. So it just depends on what form it's in when it's exiting the body, and that is completely natural. So you do not have to urinate blue every time or see your urine blue. Important, even if it's clear, don't, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna be a little bit pointed, don't drip because guess what? You'll actually see as it uh, gets more oxygen to it, your bowl will turn a little bit blue. So just a, a note on that. And that should cover that. The other question that we get is actually on our Mods Max delivery. We're very unique at Best365 Labs. We've been working on this for patent pending Mods Max for years. What is different about it, it's not something you can just grab some different, different ingredients, put them all together and boom, there you go. Our Mods Max, our mineral oxide delivery system, the chemistry is precise, controlled, and monitored for oxidation reduction potential. So it's important that it's actually in its form that it is and it works incredibly well. Thank you for watching. I hope that helped answer some questions that are out there. We love to talk to individuals and answer questions. If you do, please contact us at best365labs.com. We're not just making products and, and doing them to sell. We really care about our end users. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks again.